Welcome to episode 7 about the Yocto project and open embedded on Raspberry Pi 5 single board computers. In the previous episodes I've showed you how to switch to the U-Boot bootloader, how to run Docker containers through the layer meta virtualization, um, how to enable package management and to switch to DEP packages in our uh, core image base image. So far we have been doing all this by editing uh, conf slash local dot com. And now it's time to move on forward and to create our own Yocto open embedded layer. I opened a terminal on my build machine, which is with Ubuntu 2404. I entered the directory where I previously built core image base. I initialized the build environment with the source command and after that I typed in bit bake layers create layer followed by the path to my layer. The name of the layer is meta-leon. Uh, in the Yocto project and open embedded, the convention for layers is that they should start with meta dash. After that, I'm going to execute bitbake layers again with an argument that we are already familiar with from the previous videos, add layer. As you have seen, I used the bitbake layers command with two different arguments. First, I used create layer to create my new layer and after that I used bitbake layers add layer to add this layer to my setup. The create layer script that I called through bitbake layers command created a layer with some basic configurations. We have the conf directory where we have layer.conf, this is the main configuration file for the layer. We have also a license file, uh, this is a mid license. We have a readme and we have an example recipe. File layer.conf is very important because there we have the priority of the layer. Each layer in the Yocto project and open embedded has a different priority. And depending on the priority, the BB append files are uh, applied. We also have the compatibility of this layer. In this case, it is scarpgav because all the um, tutorials that we're doing here are based on the long-term support release of the Yocto project called scarpgav. If the layer depends on other layers, they should be described in layer.conf as well. Create layer also made a simple recipe called example. Let's build it. After executing the command bit bake example, I see on the screen text example recipe created by bit bake layers. This is expected because if we have a look at the content of the example.bb file created by bitbake layers create layer, we'll see that there is a one Python function that's the only task that's executed as part of this recipe and all it does is to print this text. Honestly, it's not a very useful example, but it is what it is. We'll create our own recipe anyway. Now I have my own layer, so let's move on to the next step and create my simple hello world recipe. Inside the layer that I've just created, MetaLeon, I'm going to create directories recipes apps slash hello. I'm going to use the source code of a hello world application that I wrote a decade ago. It's a very simple application and it's useful for this type of demonstrations. It's a super simple hello world application written in the C programming language with auto tools. Inside the directory that I've just created, recipes apps slash hello, I'm going to create a file called hello underscore git dot bb. This is the recipe that's going to build my hello world application. The name of the recipe is hello and after the underscore I have the version of the recipe. However, I'm going to take this uh, source code from git. So instead of a version with numbers, I just typed in git and the bb uh, extension uh, is the standard format in the Yocto project and open embedded for recipes. The first line is description, uh, it's just hello world. After that, the home page is the URL of the uh, simple application that I'm going to use from GitHub. The section is going to be console slash utils and the license is MIT. The leak files checksum is pointing to the license file as part of the Git repository of the application. So I'm going to check the MD5 sum of this file and put it into the Yocto uh, and open about it uh, BB file for the recipe. It's very important to specify the 
src underscore uri this variable in yocto project and open embedded specifies the path from which the uh, bitbake command will fetch the source code uh, of the recipe and build it in my case it's gonna be uh, from github i'm going to use https as a protocol and branch master the format of the src underscore uri variable is very specific it uh, supports various different options how to fetch the source code git is just one of them please explore the documentation of the yocto project and open embedded to figure out this and to adapt it for your own needs where you're writing your own recipes after that, on the next line in the src ref variable, I'm going to specify the last git commit hash uh, from the uh, hello world repository. I also have to set the s variable, which will point to the work there and the git uh, directory within it. Finally, the last line of my recipe is going to be inherit auto tools. By this line, I'm including the class for auto tools because the hello world application that I'm going to build relies on auto tools make file. The power of the Yocto project and open embedded is that it has so many different classes that cover different build scenarios. So in this case, by inheriting auto tools, I'll have automatically a proper do uh, configure, do compile and do install tasks so that my recipe will be built out of the box without the need to write more uh, specific instructions because the hello world application that I'm using here is straightforward to be built. Now let's go to the other tab in the terminal and type in bitbake hello. This way I'm gonna make sure that the recipe that I've just wrote actually can be built and properly executed by bitbake. Now I have this hello world recipe, but it's not part of any image. I'll use this opportunity to show you how to use BB append files. This is a technique in the Yocto project and open embedded, which allows you to extend uh, existing recipe from your own layer. And in this case, I'm going to extend core image base and I'm going to install the hello uh, recipe as part of it. Inside the layer that I created at the beginning of the uh, video called MetaLeon, I'm going to create two uh, directories using the mkdir uh, command recipes dash core slash images. Basically, this is the same path where the original core image base recipe resides. In this um, uh, directories, I'm going to create uh, core image base dot bb append file in which I'm going to add a single line image install append hello this way the core image base uh, uh, recipe will be extended and inside the image we're gonna install the hello recipe that I've uh, written in the previous step of the video after that I went to the first step and executed bitbake core image base. This is a command that you know very well bitbake will build core image base but in this case because of the bb append file that I've just created it will also include the hello world application. This is episode 7 and as you know from the previous six episodes here we're not just writing code but we also have hands-on experience with real embedded hardware in particular raspberry pi 5 so now it's time for a quick demo if you have watched my previous videos about the Yocto project and open embedded on Raspberry Pi 5, you are familiar with the hardware. I have Raspberry Pi 5 single board computer, a micro SD card on which I have already flashed the core image base that I've just built, um, an appropriate USB-C power supply and Raspberry Pi the big probe which I'm using for serial communication between the Raspberry Pi 5 and my laptop. Just like on my build machine, on my laptop I'm also running Ubuntu 24.04. I opened a terminal and I executed the screen command uh, to monitor the serial communication coming out from the Raspberry Pi debug probe with baud rate 115200. As soon as I plugged in the USB-C power supply, the Raspberry Pi 5 started to boot and I've logged in as root without a password. 
The only thing that I have to test here is very simple. I have to type in hello to make sure that the hello world application that we added through our own recipe, through our own layer is actually part of the image and actually works as expected. Here is another point of view, a closer look at the terminal. I executed hello and hello world has been printed on the screen. It's a super simple app and it just works as expected. So to summarize, in this video we've learned some of the very basic and important things that you're supposed to do with the Yocto project and open embed it. How to create a new layer using the bitbake layers create layer command. We created a new recipe which has an extension .bb file and we're extending a recipe that already exists with a bb append file through our own layer. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I know that this tutorial was not particularly exciting compared to some of the previous tutorials, for example, when we played with U-Boot or we uh, run Docker containers. All these tutorials are available in YouTube, so if you miss them, please have a look at the previous episodes. However, it was important to cover some of the fundamentals, the basics of the Yocto project and Open Embedded, such as creating a layer, creating our own recipe and using BB append files. If you have ideas for future videos, if there is something that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. I already have a short list in my head for the next episode, but ideas are always welcome. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe to my, my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.